Greetings and happy, can you hear me? Happy President's Day from San Francisco. Um, right now I'm at the Presidio Park overpass, but I think I'm going to walk over into the Presidio, get some footage over there, and just enjoy my Monday holiday off. Back when I worked in the school district, we came to the Walt Disney Family Museum. They're closed right now. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it's a lot of more of the history instead of just like showing cartoons and everything. They talk about how the studios came to be. So it's not as kid friendly as you would assume. Um, might be worth coming to see, but their hours aren't very great. I'm guessing this place is closed. I was here before, maybe seven or eight years ago. It's one of the few bowling alleys in the city. I think there's one more in the Mission that opened up. It's pretty popular. Go expensive. I think it's more reasonably priced. What time do they open at? Yeah, 3 p.m. It's only 11:30. So, for those who don't know, the Presidio used to be a military barracks a military base that was owned by um, the United States government. And sometime in the 90s, I believe 94, well, they stepped away, gave it up, whatever you want to call it, and now it's just part of the park service, I think. So people live here, they have nice houses, there's a lot of, um, I don't know, it's like a lot of public land. It's kind of a nice little wooded area in the middle of San Francisco. So you can see they still have some of the leftover military stuff. I doubt these were ever used. And they look like decorations. People's initials carved into them. I assume they were functional at some point. Alas, no more. I think the chapel's open. I don't look like it. Everything's closed today. Maybe it's only open when you reserve it for special events like a wedding or something. I feel like this whole video is just going to be me visiting places that I can't get inside. I thought for sure this would be open. This chapel commemorates the first Holy Mass offered in this vicinity, almost in virginity, at the Presidio of San Francisco. The Mass was celebrated by Father Francisco Palu, 17th of September, 1776. That's quite a while ago. Let's see if the 
Presidio Theater's open. If not, we can at least look and see what they uh, have to offer. I guess this would be the next thing. Oh, Celtic music. I'd be into that. Let's see if we can go up here. Another place will be closed. Maybe not. Twelve Vietnam veterans. It's closed. No surprise. Once again, onward we go. North Korea's got to be bananas. Imagine living there, or visiting there. Some people don't go home. I was reading one of the uh, little plaque things back there. It said the U.S. took control of the Presidio from the Spanish in 1846. So I think Spain obviously came to California first before it was California in 1776. And that little chapel we went to back there had the date of September 1776. So from then until 1846, it was under the control of the Spanish. When the Americans took it over in 1846, California became a state in 19, or excuse me, 1850. And we've had control of this place ever since. Now I think the plan is I'm going to make my way past all those highway parts, kind of closer to the Pacific Ocean. There's a few other things over there I want to see, batteries and other memorials and stuff. Take a little bit to get over there, but we'll make it. This over here must be the Battery Sherwood Overlook. 
I guess overlook means I can't jump down there and poke around. I just have to enjoy it from up here. Is there anything up there? Yep, this is flat. Well. Cute little thing. A little pet cemetery over here. I didn't even know this existed. Wow. Some of these are pretty old. 1960. These pets have been gone for a while. 88. Let's see, 63? Yeah. 63, smoochy, sad. There's a, so maybe there are still ones that are buried here later on. 07? Maybe you can get your pet buried here, if you know the right people. On we go. On to the next stop. I'm guessing these are all private houses. Not part of the parks? I'm not sure. Ooh, it'd be nice to live in one of these. Well, we've run out of sidewalk, but I'm not going to let that deter me. According to Google Maps, I'm only five minutes away from this World War II memorial. Here comes a car. Let's check it out. Like everything else, these were all locked, but maybe I can get a view inside for the window. Lock it. Yeah. I can hear noises. I don't know, it looks like someone's workshop. Maybe I'm trespassing. I mean, it looks like it's. 50, 60, 70 years old. I'm sure you can hear the wind because that is the Pacific Ocean. Let's go to the left first as we're World War II thing, then back to the right to some battery. Then get some good footage of the ocean. Here it is. We head down this way and zigzag back over to it. To sleep in the American coastal waters of the Pacific Ocean. So this is everyone who died at sea? It doesn't seem like that many. I mean, no offense. I thought they'd have tons, you know, five, six walls worth if it's everyone who died at sea. And the Air Force's Navy, Marine Corps, not too many in the Marine Corps, or the Coast Guard. 
Maybe it's only people from the West Coast or from California. What do I know? I just know millions of people died in the Second World War. I just assumed there'd be more casualties. People buried at sea. My next stop is not technically in the Presidio. I believe it's down there. That's what I'm trying to get to. There must be a pathway that cuts down that way. So not technically in the Presidio, but who cares? You need a good view. That's our destination, Battery Crosby. I think it's some good, some good views over there. This whole trail's been good views. What have they got down here? At some point, there's something in here. That's all closed off now. What the hell is this? Mm, model's kind of the dryer. It looks like a washing, no, a dryer. All right. No idea what it's doing over here. People sleep out here at night. Oh, oh, more broken glass. Does this go anywhere? Nope. Nope. Like everything else, it's boarded up. If I can make it up here. Oh, that's where the path came up. This went the hard way. Yeah. Down there's Baker Beach. Let's see if this is navigable. Yeah, that's about as far as I'm gonna go. I had to make one more stop on my tour. Back in 2000 when I first came to San Francisco, a family friend showed me the Yoda statue and I kind of geeked out over it. And as you can imagine, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so it's really kind of cool to come over here and see this and get my picture taken. And behind me there is Lucasfilm, where all the digital effects and everything is done. So. Pretty cool. What if we can see inside? Oh yeah, you can see the Darth Vader thing. You can see the R2-D2 thing. Very cool. I wonder if it's open. No, I wouldn't think so. Close for the day. I like everything around here. Let me see if I can get a better view. Without reflections. 
Um, yeah, so you can see Darth Vader over there, a whole bunch of stuff on the shelves there. I've been inside there before, but I think, yeah, they're all closed up for the day. Now, well, that's what I get for walking around on a holiday, so um, I hope you enjoyed this. I might take my picture with Yoda and end the video there. So, this is the Presidio, and it's pretty nice. It's a nice place to come visit. Especially on a nice holiday like today. Great weather. Alright, bye for now.